Hey guys, this is my low boy cabinet that I bought off of Crafty on AA. Um, so it's not finished yet. I've still got to do the sides, get some decals for the sides. I've got to get some new locks on the front doors because the locks are pretty average. Um, these buttons here don't light up. Um, I did uh, wire them straight into a power supply. Um, didn't do it properly, didn't solder them properly. I've got to redo that. And this speaker cover I made up the top is crap, so I'm going to redo that and probably still leave the keyboard and mouse up there. Um, but this is uh, the front end. Oh, one more thing, sorry, the stickers I designed. Went to super glue them on and they looked average, so now I've got to rip them off, sand it back, and get some decent stickers to put on there. And what they are is uh, the controls for each of the games. So on the left, I did have MAME, Commodore 64, Atari 2600. And it basically just tells you what the buttons do for each of those consoles. Um, and up the top is um, what the buttons there do, which are on the front of the arcade unit. Um, so you can navigate through the Maximus arcade front end. So just a quick demo of what the front end looks like. So it boots straight into this. It's a Windows XP P box boot straight up to Commodore 64 um, use the left joystick to swap and you can go to MAME or Atari or Commodore 64 I did try Amiga but I couldn't really get that working very well so I've just excluded that um, eventually I'd probably like to do Super Nintendo um, but yeah as you can see it's just a three button two player control pad and not very good for fighting games so just your basic games um, so MAME, you just press the uh, green button to enter into the MAME games and all the games have uh, screenshots and if you want to go back out you can go back to the MAME menu and then um, so I'll just put on, uh, I'll just show you Commodore 64 so there's core games in here, summer games, all work really well. Um, they're all configured, so if you've got multiple discs, then um, you can just press Alt-N, or I think it is a combo like that, and it automatically changes to the second or third disc. Um, and Atari 2600's a no-brainer, that's pretty easy to configure. Um, but if you just, uh, I'll just quickly do one game. I'll just go into MAME, Gallagher, oops. MAME and uh, Galaxian Gallagher probably my favourite game, it's awesome so just press the green button once again to go into it and then I've configured it I think so this button here is to add coins this button here is to exit the game and go back into the Maximus front end these buttons here obviously one player, two player so now that this has come up so I'll just press the uh, coin button and then just yeah, press the one player button and that's it. Configure the top button to shoot joysticks as per normal. So it's pretty good fun. Looking forward to having the boys over to, for a few years and play it.